Hey, what's up? It's uh, Friday, at least at the time of this video. And so this is the casual Friday segment, as I'm going to call it moving forward. And it's going to take the place of the weekly wrap videos that I used to do. Real casual, just kind of hanging out. Lights aren't on. Windows are open. Uh, camera is not on the tripod. Mic is not on the stand. And it's pretty much a live shot video with minimal editing at best. And I'm just going to talk about some of the things that caught my attention this week. Uh, thoughts on my mind, stuff like that, kind of a vlog style. Um, and then, of course, I'm also going to use this as a way to give back to you guys. So uh, giveaways are going to be tied to this video, starting with this one right here. So stay tuned because uh, I'm going to talk about that um, this week. I'm just going to tell you real quickly, this game on the Nintendo 3DS hit the eShop. It's called Steam World Dig. Here it is right there. Steam World Dig. Um, look online, guys, and check this out, and you'll get a feel for what it's all about. There it is right there. You kind of go through these different mines, and you uh, basically mine for stuff. It's not like Minecraft, if that's what you're thinking. Totally different. Um, and you're like a little robot guy and stuff. It's kind of a platform adventure, and it's really, really fun. I want to say between 5 and $7 is how much it costs. And it's totally worth it right now. At some point in the near future, I will get a write-up or a video on it, um, especially over at my Metagamer site. So I know you guys watch videos here, uh, but also check out from time to time metagamers.com because I'm going to really up uh, the content over on that site. The other thing that I was working on this week uh, is an update to the app that I published. Let me go ahead and unlock my phone. So you guys know that I launched an app, at least if you saw this video last week, and it is for the show Market the Movies that airs on the Reels Network. And if you guys like movies, you like celebrities, you like following that kind of stuff, you should check out the show. It's pretty fun. It's pretty um, pretty entertaining as well, kind of tongue-in-cheek in certain areas. And it's also live shot. It has a lot of user interaction through Skype and stuff like this. So the app, which you're looking at right here, I just spent time updating it to version 1.2. And so hopefully... Hopefully within the next week or so, it's going to get pushed out to the App Store um, and you'll see it. So if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, basically, if you've got an iOS device, because it will work on all iOS devices, uh, except for early models and those using, uh, I'd have to go back and look, but prior versions of uh, iOS, I mean, a couple versions back, I want to say, um, if you wouldn't mind downloading it, it'd be really awesome because I'd love to hear your feedback and better yet, if you could just leave a review on the app store, whether it be a written review or just if you star it, you know, uh, that would be awesome as well. One other thing that I want to talk about is video game related and that's Disney Infinity. So some of you guys may have been tracking this game. Of course, it comes out this Sunday. I want to say, what is that? Let me grab my phone here again. Uh, 17th, 18th, uh, Sunday, August 18th is when Disney Infinity comes out. It's going to be on the PS3, the Xbox 360, uh, the Wii, I believe. Um, actually, I don't think it's the Wii. I think it's the it's definitely the Wii U and the 3DS. I don't think it's going to be on the Wii, although I'll have to double check. Uh, Disney Infinity, of course, everybody's saying, oh, it's a Skylander ripoff. And they're only saying that because Disney Infinity uses little figures like Skylanders. But their figures are all based off of the Disney franchise. So things like The Incredibles, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, all of that stuff uh, that you can basically buy and you can do the same sort of thing, put them on a little uh, pedestal or platform and it transports it into the game. That's where the similarities end, in my opinion. I had a chance to play the game and see the game as well and talk to the developers over at E3 this past year. It's a very different game than Skylanders. It's a lot of fun. I'm not picking it up just for the simple sake that we're about three and a half to four months away from the next gen, uh, PS4 and Xbox One, and I want to wait and see if they're going to eventually release it on those platforms before I buy in. Um, I might buy some figures beforehand because definitely those look pretty cool, uh, but we'll see what happens. Are you guys picking it up this Sunday? Let me know what you guys think, and if you get it, definitely let me know your thoughts, uh, either in a video response or just leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear how you guys are enjoying the game. Uh, when I talked to Disney at E3, and I specifically said, hey, is this coming to next gen? At that time, they kind of 
they didn't really dodge it, but they were kind of like, eh, not so sure. Um, right now, it's only on these platforms. So I think they'll probably take a wait and see approach. Uh, now, I talked about giveaways, and here's your giveaway for this week. This is by Draco Design. It is the Hydra for the Samsung Galaxy S4, the Ducati version. This is an aluminum bumper. And this is worth between, I want to say, $99 and $150, if memory serves me correct. So it's a nice aluminum bumper, probably one that I would feel comfortable putting on my device if I had a Samsung Galaxy S4. Giveaway is going to vary from week to week, depending on what it is and the way that you get in. It's going to vary as well. I'm going to make it simple this week. Leave a comment down below. One comment. Multiples won't increase your chances. Uh, and that's all you got to do. Leave one comment down below if you want it. And I'll pick one person uh, right before I shoot next week's video. And then I'm going to announce who I chose in next week's video. And then I'll shoot it off to you in the mail. So that's all you got to do to get into it. Um, you know, I got a lot of questions. I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to flip my camera thing around so I can see. I got a lot of questions about some of the artwork on my walls. And I've done some videos on this before, but I'll just mention it. This artwork right here is by a good friend of mine named Nick Caesar or Nicholas Caesar. You can do a search on Google, find them, or you can go to scaryart.com. This is on canvas. It's all hand painted and it's very cool stuff. Uh, you can check out his work and you can certainly purchase his work online as well. Um, I'm just going to show you the top shelf of my bookshelf today and give you a teaser of some of the other stuff, especially this row. And I'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, but I've got some video game uh, kind of memorabilia up here and R2-D2 that these guys don't have batteries right now, but he uh, voice respond. So you can say things to him and he'll respond and his head moves and he lights up and he plays music. Pretty cool. This is what I really like. Is he's called the Ultimate Wally. -E. Came out a few years ago. I picked him up at retail for I want to say one thirty nine. It's sickening how people are selling him for five and eight hundred dollars now online. Uh, but he's very very cool. Real treads there. Remote control moves around, talks, dances, wa uh, not walks. <laughs> moves his arm, does all kinds of cool things. When I get a battery replacement on him, maybe I'll shoot a video because he's something to see in person. And he's big, I mean, for what he is. And then, of course, uh, this is my kind of replica, not to actual dimensions, but close, of Dead Mouse, um, the producer. So uh, light up eyes, light up mouth, and, of course, with Halloween coming up. Uh, and that's pretty cool. By the way, Halloween coming up, I just picked this up at my local Costco. And I only mention this because this thing was a steal, in my opinion. $34.95 for the Pose and Stay Skeleton, 60 inches. So he's like really tall. And here he is right here. High quality, not cheap plastic. Um, and I'll zoom in here. You can see the bolts. There's actual bolts. He kind of holds his positions really, really well. And the other thing is you can stand him up and lean him up against something as well. So 35 bucks. I picked this up. I'm pretty pleased about that because here in the U.S. around Halloween time, maybe the month of September, they open up Halloween shops and you'd probably pay about 99 to 100 bucks for something like that. So I think I got a good deal. Anyways, that's this week's, uh, I almost said weekly wrap, but that's this week's casual Friday video. Have a great weekend, everybody. And remember, if you want this, I'm going to choose one person to get it. Leave a comment down below. And if you don't mind doing me a favor, if you got an iOS device, download Mark at the Movies and leave some feedback on it. I would certainly appreciate that. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great weekend.